Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the Friday, 9th of December 2016. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com and visit Trade Signal. Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, numbers, Asian markets again higher overnight, led by the US uh, session. New highs on the Dow, SP. Nasdaq certainly touching those highs as well. Uh, very sharp reversal on the Nasdaq. So much for the uh, Trump is negative for tech trade. Okay. <clears throat> Biotech certainly have been hammered, but semiconductors certainly breaking out as well. This market continuous melt, melt continues, whether you want to call it an early Tanta rally, whether you want to call it Monte de Pachi rally, etc. I mean, the euro's being crushed right now down to 105.60. It's non stop. It just literally is non stop. It's amazing. Truly amazing, every resistance level being breached. This morning in terms of economic data, it really is irrational and illogical, that's probably the best way of explaining it. And the complacency is amazing. So you have a German exports coming in at uh, less than 50% of what they were expected, at 0.5%, expected as 1%. Trade balance as well on the weaker side, okay. Imports did actually rise, okay, imports did slightly rise. In terms of the French uh, industrial output, again on the negative side, uh, the budget certainly on the negative side as well okay consumer inflation expectations in the uk rising 2.8 percent as we all know rising inflation equals a rising sterling rising sterling obviously is negative for the FTSE, and obviously increases the chances of a potential rate hike trade balance data did actually come in on the stronger side for the uk okay so just bear that in mind and that really is a theme okay we have had uh, talk with regards to potential tapering uh, and now the latest news is with regards to Monte Depache. Now apparently there's a rumor going around that uh, they've been rejected in terms of their capital raising and the time that's allowed to do so. And the latest uh, one we have here, uh, let's have a look. Italian Finance Ministry won't come in and report that MPS request for Monte Depache's request for capital raising extension has been rejected. Pache CEO, Chairman at Treasury for your talks, Italy official, etc., etc. Now that everybody knows the banking chaos or banking concerns are in the background, but. We choose to ignore it we've negated that we've, we've been oblivious to it and we've been complacent to it and the markets continue continuously consistently move higher especially with the uh, german debt especially with mr draghi's comments yesterday as well in terms of extension of the qe program it's actually uh, 80 i think it works out uh, all in all 80 billion uh, euros more in terms of uh, the uh, the actual uh, qe so or should i say 80 million sorry more in terms of qe so Again, he's reduced it to 60, but he's extended it out to nine months, okay? So, again, net-net is certainly more positive. So, again, it will, up, to, up till December next year. So, uh, the, the latest uh, article from Cathy Lien does explain that it's actually extended, okay? So, just bear that in mind. Now, let's see exactly where this market is positioned, given the fact that German exports are down. German DAX has no concern whatsoever. You can see the weekly chart here is unfazed, okay, breaking out. On the weekly chart, the next real resistance is seen at 11.350. So we're currently 11.200, only 150 points away. Okay, daily chart on the German DAX. Again, you had potential gap fill resistance, which I've highlighted at 11.190. .11 okay, if that breaks, the next resistance is seen at 10.430. So watch out for 10.430. Now, there is this gap here, but this gap historically hasn't really been respected. Okay, so just bear that in mind. But I'll leave that on there for now. Okay, because there is a topping tail there. So potential resistance there we have left the unfilled gap below again market is totally oblivious to that market doesn't care market wants to go higher okay so we must listen to market 60 minute chart again like i said you have an unfilled gap below and from my perspective certainly remains vulnerable vulnerable to breaking down the 10 minute chart on the german dax let's just give it this attempt to uh, do some ta work on this no real pattern folks okay other than the fact that this market just it, hold, it puts in a potential double top and then just rips right through it. So, again, euro is now going into that key zone and we'll see exactly how the market reacts, okay? In terms of the uh, MDAX 50, uh, just cross-referencing the German DAX itself, you can see that the MDAX is into potential resistance and therefore looking for risk-off. Looking at the tech all share, you can see that you are into potential resistance and therefore looking for risk-off, Okay. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Daily chart on the French CAC. You do have a potential resistance in this zone, but again, we've negated it. The market continues to move higher. Weekly chart, at the moment, you are into that FIB, 75%, uh, but we've negated it thus far. If we continue to negate and the euro continues to collapse, you are looking at 5,000 on the, uh, the French CAC. I mean, it's as simple as that. 
we've broken out of all key resistance zones and this market constantly wants to go higher I mean even even fundamentals can't stop this market right now even with weaker German exports you'd expect markets to come off risk aversion to kick in etc etc and markets totally oblivious to it, it doesn't care whatsoever you could I mean there's a chap on um, on uh, on Twitter stating that even if we had a, a, a potential war uh, or some sort of nuclear nuclear crisis etc or a terrorist incident or a natural disaster the stock market would go up 10 percent I mean because they expect more QE that's how pathetic the logic has become and uh, generally this is what uh, obviously signifies market top so again we just have to ride the train until obviously the train stops uh, stops all abruptly so for now we're just basically adhering to it uh, I'm sticking to my trend my uh, fundamental analysis my fundamentals was certainly telling me to potentially short this market okay even though technicals are breaking out fundamentals certainly weren't confirming okay um, but again I've been proven wrong because this market continues to melt up currently I'm negative 320 points for this week so quite an extensive hit yeah, especially given the last two weeks have been more or less flat my last week plus 20 last the week before that more or less break even so again very frustrating very very frustrating and very hard to read this for a market right now especially given the fact that there is no such thing as resistance every support resistance zone just basically gets negated and, and, and broken broken down so any bearish pattern as well negated and broken down so for now we just have to go with the flow and see exactly where we uh, where we stand okay for now uh, the french cac like i said on the daily chart you do have potential resistance in this zone here which is currently uh, 4750 so let's watch this carefully okay in terms of the euro stocks let's bring up the sorry the FTSE 100 let's bring up the FTSE 100 next look at the FTSE 250 first on the daily chart of the FTSE 250 let's just look at the daily chart here of the FTSE 250 you are coming now into potential resistance now bear in mind the uh, stronger inflation data is negative net net for the FTSE 100 okay therefore uh, is uh, is certainly uh, exerts a bearish bias and looking for a potential move low that's my understanding going over to the FTSE 100 bringing up the daily chart I, I've already explained that we are into resistance key resistance here in the fib 61 to 75 percent previous support equals resistance and therefore looking for a flush now we've had a bearish engulfing candle which is good news potential breach of this uh, bullish channel as well okay so again good news and now looking for continuation down so looking for a flush okay 10 minute chart at the moment you have this potential hns formation now you've broken out of the rising contracting wedge pattern too okay so again looking for further weakness so left but left handle or left shoulder here head obviously we've put in the neckline right shoulder is going in now and then looking to flush lower down to this uh, 6910 zone okay so looking for 6910 on the um, the FTSE 100 uh, in terms of weakness and uh, flush lower so FTSE setups and looking bullish or bearish should I say okay but European markets like I said what can I say? It's like Rocky Balboa. I mean, literally, just don't want to go down. No matter what you throw at this market, and what uh, no matter how much the new bearish the news can be, it's totally irrelevant. Okay, why? Because the euro gets crushed. Mr. Draghi's QE is in the background, and nobody wants to short this index at all. Uh, initially, I was, I do you know, I was short all week, predominantly. But after yesterday's uh, obviously comments from Mr. Draghi and his extension of QE, etc., etc., and given the fact that we're technically broken out, there's no, there's no, there's nothing to ream and short off. I mean, look at the euro stocks here. It's broken out. It's into no man's land. The next potential resistance is seen around the 3,300 level. What can I what can I base my short off? And from a technical perspective, nothing. Only thing you could do potentially do is just close your eyes and buy. Literally. Okay, literally. Technically, there is no argument here to short. I've run out of arguments. I used to have this. I had this short here. I had a short position here. I was expecting shorts here. Okay, in this zone for this these levels to be respected. You had gap fill here. Okay. So there were so many arguments that I had to short this market. Then I had an argument to short it at 3150, 3140, 3120. Technically, the argument was there. Fundamentally, it was there as well, given the Italian referendum, the uncertainty, and so on and so forth. Yet this market defied that. And the market was moving higher post-Italian referendum because it was given the nod by Mr. Draghi that he'd extend QE. Now, we didn't have access to that information. Me and you didn't, okay? But certain individuals did, and they were literally knocking out every stop there was okay buying everything okay now that it's become public knowledge that's not they, they can't they can no longer do that okay as you can see here the euro euro stocks is stalling okay so they can no longer do that but the effect is still there okay uh, the effect is still there especially when you're technically broken out into a new 
into an uncharted territory and the only real resistance technically is at 3300 and you're what 110 points away it's not wise to short the index okay yes i'll short the FTSE i'll short the nasdaq the s p but i won't be shorting european stocks okay until i get a, a real bearish reversal and, and real weakness and a real dump then i'll certainly uh, contemplate it okay that's the situation at present okay 60 minute chart yes we are breaking out the rising contracting channel so there is certainly a signs here now of potential reversal but like i've already discussed before this market is on that kool-aid is on that cocaine rush of qe and it's going to be very hard to actually sustain any move lower okay so any potential pullback is a buying opportunity until we get to real resistance okay on that note be sure to visit cfds.com be sure to visit trade signal and download that app goodbye now